guys, today we're going to be opening the Monster Bath September Great Legs Monster Bath Box. Let's open them up. This is a, this this is the last for the, uh, maybe this year, I don't know. We got a B A L B A Labs. Lab. Right, you can see on the back. Um, I, I think it's a crankbait or something. I don't know. It's really detailed though. It's a B8 Labs. It's a jerk bait. Hang on. I don't know if it's supposed to be BB Lab or B8 Lab. It looks like an 8. So it is a B8 Lab Dizzy Diver. Uh and perfect peacock. Wait. And then let me read the back, see if it says how deep it dives. We have peacock bass? We don't have peacock around here. Two to eight feet. Maybe they'll think it's a perch or something. Oh, uh, come on, camera. There we go. Maybe. I don't know. There we go. And then we got swim baits from from www.sam Sambet something. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I don't know how to pronounce the name. It's from it's Sam Sandton's Bait. And they look like the like a Cinco thing. For, I don't know, like they're like a Cinco thing, but they're really, really small. See they're really small, but they're like Cinco's. Somatis, Samatis baits. It's a soft plastic. Oh. Say, it doesn't say anything else. It's like a sample pack. So there's not any information on it. There's no label to show you guys. But it's a... Oh my God. Is that a green with a red? No, it's a green with like a black and gold flake. It's little though. It's like a... Skinny, skinny version of like a, oh uh, geez, a 10,000 fish or a, or a uh, trick worm, something like that. Then we got a huge monster claws. Ooh, cool. They're huge. Look at that. <laughs> Holy crap. These things are really big. Mad Yabby Ultra Durable Creature Bait. This is the, uh. 15 caution craw. Let me get this label. There you go. Punching, flipping, or trailers. I mean, these things are are very, very big. You see my hand holding the bag. I don't have small hands. Those are very, very big. And we got some little hooks. I don't know if they're for panfish or what. I think they might be for panfish. Like, a little big big panfish something they're drop shot hooks oh nice now we can do some more drop shots we got these uh drop shot hooks from standout they are it says one on look here I not. Oh, it's. Oh, I see. So you thread the line, it looks like, through that hole on the bottom. And you're tying the knot at the bend there. So you don't actually have to do multiple knots to make a drop shot. So that is a cool setup. We'll have to try that out. I want to start drop shotting more next year anyway. Anyway, there, there they are. Stand out new kind of drop shot hook definitely a cool design it'll be interesting to try don't they like, go deep drop shots yeah yeah like uh the lake erie bass tournament that's what a lot of that's what everyone used was drop shots we got a monster bass sticker i like that one that's a cool one no way no other baits yeah there's like like there's like the same thing as we got when we're outside. Oh, yeah. BB kicker, big bite baits. Like a big giant paddle tail swim bait. 
deal. Do you guys remember that when we got those um, ones that are like that These are, really are bluish. green gizzard shad. Come on, come on, camera. There it is. Four and a quarter inch. Yeah, cool swim baits. This one just floats and you just reel. And it's got a tail on it, a skirt. A Super K. It's a tap water, like, you know. Dog walker style deal. Top water, three and a half inch, one third ounce. There's no label or anything about what color it is, but it's obviously some sort of a, you know, perch. And this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Like what do you it, mean? It's weird to me. Hi zero gravity hybrid underspin airdrop. So <clears throat> they didn't even check which color it was. Well, I don't know. You see that? They didn't it's point four, but they must be. It's supposed to probably automatically check which color this is, whether it's the hot blue citrus chartreuse or threadfin shad, but um you know, it's like a, throw a, a long Senko or some sort of soft plastic trailer on there, and that's all it is. We got this branch every, almost every single, I think every single time we've got a monster bass, a Strike King. All right, oh, let's get Strike King's one of the best brands, buddy. Strike King Lucky Shad is a pro model crankbait. Boy, that's a huge bill. An oyster color. Doesn't give me the depth. I'll just have to Google it because I can't. Oh, there it is. It's right in the front. I just looked right through it. Dives eight feet. That's a nice, pretty crankbait. Um. I don't know. It's very, it's almost like a iridescent coating on it. You can't really tell on the camera, though. Lucky Shad. It doesn't say which size. There's the label. Sorry, I forgot I like to show the label. Oyster color. And that's it for, that's it for September. All right. Well, we don't know if we're going to be getting more Monster Bass boxes. We are already, uh, we already have a world supply of bass lures for as much as we get out fishing. So we might be keep doing these and... We might not. I don't know. We're, we've also considered trying the mystery tackle box, although the, re the reviews for that have definitely gotten way worse over the past year. A lot of people saying that they use nothing but house brands. That's why we stuck with Monster Bass, because they always use name brand stuff. Or from, uh, you know, like high-quality boutique-style uh, tackle manufacturers. So I'm not sure if Mason will keep getting Monster Bass boxes or if we'll switch brands or if we'll just take a break and maybe... Uh, Maybe we'll just fish what we got because we haven't hardly used any of the stuff we've gotten in the past couple months. And then if we need more next year, we'll resubscribe. So that's it.